time for our next fight. It is in the bantam weight division, 135 pounds here in Sao Paulo, Brazil, SFT MMA. I'm Jay Adams, alongside the Black Widow, Jessica Borga. Here they are, Giselle Moreno fighting out of the blue corner, 38 years old. Diane Carnino fighting on the red corner, 30 years old. And Moreira has a jiu-jitsu black belt, which you've seen a lot here in Brazil. Just a lot of advanced belts, obviously, in here in Brazil. Uh, they're doing jiu-jitsu from the time they're little kids. I love it. I love I it. Know. So Moreira fighting out of the red corner. She's got the... Uh, red band around the red gloves. She's in the pink. And Fermino fighting out of the blue corner. She's in the black trunks. This fight is scheduled for three five minute rounds. Fermino kind of sticking that left hand jab out. They look ready to bang though. Look at that. They really do. I like it. Moreto's kind of <laughs> walking her down a little bit. Giselle Moreto, 38 years old, five foot nice. five, and she's letting her hands go. Double right hand. Diane Fermino weighed in at 134.9 pounds at the weigh-ins. She's got a purple belt in jiu-jitsu, and she's got a black belt in Muay Thai. So we'll have to keep our eyes on the, she look, looks like she has some tell. strong <laughs> quads. Yeah, look at those quads, man. I don't want to get kicked by that leg. Diane Firmino was the first female to fight in SFT. She fought Karina Dom. Remember Karina Dom? And they both went to the hospital on stretchers. Now that's a fight. Yeah, that's I like that. <laughs> oh. Firmino was switching stances. I like that too. And Moreto trying to drive Firmino up against the cage. Now she's got her pinned with the over under. Trying to shoot the high crotch single. Mm -hmm. Just got to watch her neck in that position. Oh, and she got the takedown. Hands aren't latched, so she's not in any jeopardy there. So now we'll have a chance to watch Firmino off her back. See that, what that uh, purple belt out of Jiu Jitsu. I like that she has the butterflies guard right now ah. instead of the full guard I like that it gives her a more possibility of sweeping if she can get the position she's got to watch those punches she's got to control the hands see her getting her instructions from her corner there she has the presence of mind to look over especially if she's got a black belt <laughs> <laughs> right right that control is going to be there so she's got to be careful yeah Moreira with that Jiu-Jitsu black belt is really going to be able to control from the top position. She's got to control those hands. She's got to be careful. Got the half guard trying to compose full guard. You see her trying to now go back to the oh, butterfly. And oh, she's, oh, yeah. she, well, oh, that was nice. She is that tip you were talking about. She she had she got some space, but she wasn't, did, but it didn't, yeah, didn't close it. Yeah, couldn't she's quite. She's got to get up here. This is a bad position for her. You guys work the cage walk a lot at Champions? Absolutely. You, it always ends up there. She's got full mount. Full mount oh now, now for she's, she's got to scoot away from the cage. Right hand. Another right. Uh, I'll tell you what, Firmina's got to get out of there. She's got to be careful here. There's raining down. Moreira's trying to get the elbows free. See that left elbow? Oh, one, two. And now some punches. Even if she, she doesn't be careful turning over too. Yep. yep, she's gonna grab that. Even if she doesn't connect, Jessica, the judges are seeing. A lot oh, she's of action. opened up. Oh, she yeah. got that left eyebrow opened up from all those bows and <laughs> right hands. My God, that's awesome. Beautiful right hand, elbows. She's got such good control on top. She cannot get out of an, an, from underneath her right now. Oh, nasty elbow! Oh, oh the point of the elbow. Another elbow. Oh. Oh, Moreira is absolutely merciless. Getting bloody. 
Oh, she's really opened up, Jessica. She's really opened up. She's leaking. Wow. And that's in a bad spot, too. It's above the eyes. It was that nasty elbow. Remember that right hand elbow? It's like a slicing elbow. It sure is. Boy, Marrera is nasty from the mount. I'm surprised she keeps putting her her weight down. Yeah, it should be on instead her, just, right? It should be just, on Firmino, right? Rather yeah. than on the canvas. There oh, hammer go. fist. Man, oh. She just needs to keep punching at this point. She's Because this is going <laughs> Referee shows no inclination. The referee gave a thumbs up to Firmino's corner to let him know that she wasn't going to stop it. She knew there was 10 seconds left. She let everybody know there was 10 seconds left. I'm not going to stop the action. Let's see how good the, the uh, cleanup crew did for Firmino in between rounds. That's probably a 10 8 round. Absolutely. There's just so much damage, you know, just the damage oh, alone. The combination she throws is just straight down the middle. And Firmino's pointing to her mouth guard. What was that about? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they did a job with Firmino. Her face is pretty cleaned up there, but yeah. she's leaking again. But at least it's not draining into uh, this. Oh, now she's taunting. That's what's going <laughs> that's on. What's going that's on. what's <laughs> on. That's going on. Okay. You get a little like, ah, mental. Mean, she's like, I'm fine. <laughs> you didn't hurt me. You thought you hurt me. She just let her know that she didn't hurt her in that first round. Hey, man, some of us fighters, once we even get a taste of blood, it sets us a whole nother level. <laughs> Was it like an angry thing or just a... Oh, no, it's a... I'm it. focused more than ever now. Uh, <laughs> you just stepped it up. <laughs> you just cut me. Now I will... Now I'm focused. That's for me anyway. I don't know. <laughs> no, I know. I talk to a lot of fighters. They say the same thing. It's not really an angry thing. Some guys no. get angry when you cut them, but uh, most fighters are like, okay, it's going down now. It's, it's just, an odd way to make you focus. Right. Let's see for me, though. Back Shuffling and, that, yeah. yeah. Getting that left leg. She doesn't want to eat any more of those outside leg kicks. Little chest going on here. Oh, oh beautiful. Man, that was nice. Yeah, she stepped up in the combination, and they are chatting it up. <laughs> Look at him smiling. <laughs> I like it. I think it's Firmino is still tired. This is all bluff. She's still tired because she's not generating any offense. There's a lot of gamesmanship, but she's not closing the distance. She does look like she's tired, even. Yeah. <laughs> She has, oh, see. Uh, <laughs> I love that it. was a good kick. I, I can tell it. that was a good kick. Yep. <laughs> you always know the person's hurt when they say it didn't hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, that was. I like how Marrera is not sitting on her lead. She's still initiating. She's still off. She is. She almost got that as she, you know, shot in. She almost got that upper, which would have been really nice. Oh. She's going for the back. She's got to get her arm out from behind the head, though. She's going to go for that back. Oh. Very nice. She's got to get... See, now it's going to where it's going to be guard. Now it's side. <laughs> see, now she's pressed up against the cage. It's not a good position for her at all. And now you see Marrera like get the freaks. Oh, Marrera gets mount. She's got Mount Jessica looking to posture up now. This is really bad for Firmino. Firmino's taking it out. She's eating them. She's eating shots now. See, she's trying to use the cage. That's good. She's trying to use the cage. She needs to be backing her up. Oh, see, there you go. That was very oh, good. She's got to come up. <laughs> nice escape from Firmino. Well done. Oh, that takes her back. Firmino, she shucks her out the back. She was too high. Oh. That was a good attempt, but man. <laughs> she had her back, but Marrero had the presence to shuck out the back. She's got to watch her neck. Now, is this a, this is a is, great fight between these fighters? She's is, got great control. <laughs> is this a good choke for for Marrero, or is it? Does what does she need to do to tighten up? Because right now, Firmino seems to be she's not losing air. No, right now she doesn't have it where it's. I can't tell if her hands are connected, honestly, at this in this position, but no, she's just in a really bad position. <laughs> bad position. It wasn't a choking position, but she's in a very bad position. <laughs> Firmino's out now, but she cannot stop Marrera's takedown. I think she's tired. I think you're right. The willpower is there. The heart is there. But the muscles are just not doing what she's asking them to That's do. That's exactly what happens, too. Sometimes your body does not do what you know it needs to do. <laughs> you see Marrera cutting off the wind of Firmina. She put her hand oh, over yeah, her face right gonna, there. And now does that gas you out? It does. It really does. And it makes your brain not be able to think what you need to do. 
I'm imagining that in that position, the trick is just to stay calm and to not panic. Yes, absolutely. When you're in a bad situation like this, what, the what's hands. going through your mind? Okay. You really just need to make sure that you're controlling what they're doing and not putting yourself in a worse position. So she's doing a good job for the most part, but she's still connecting with elbows amazingly. <laughs> so she's got to control those arms. And conversely now, your Marrera in the closed guard of Firmino, what do you do? I would be trying to get out. Um, you have to, like, when she had the butterfly sweep, right now, honestly, she'd try to be sweeping, trying to scoot away. She, you've got to close the position with the hands, but make yourself be able to get out. Keep everything tight, but <laughs> find a way out. And around two, boy, Marrera just piling up the points. And I think Firmino has dug herself a bit of a hole here in Sao Paulo. She's down at least 10 8, the first round 10 9 in the second round. Firmino's got to stop Marrera now. She's got to get those defense on takedowns, man. <laughs> Having a black belt on top of you is not going to be an easy thing. Yeah, Marrera has really shown all that experience. She's 38 years old. She's got eight victories, just four losses. And most importantly, that Muay Thai background in that black belt in jiu-jitsu. Just a little too well much rounded. for Firmino. Yeah, right now it's a little too much for Firmino. Firmino's Both great fighters. Yeah, they really are. You can are. definitely see the experience. Yep. Marino's uh, Firmino is, is, has beat some, some good names. She beat Mariana Moraes in Invicta. Um, and uh, she's beat a couple of UFC fighters. She beat Luana Carolina and she beat Ariana Lipsky. Nice. Yeah, so those are some big wins. Lipsky's killing it in the UFC right now. And Firmino has beat her, so. You know, it's all also, you know, depends on who's there that night better than the other. It, <laughs> you can be a great fighter and just have one of those nights too. But she's doing, that was a very good spinning back kick. So Firmino's got to pull a rabbit out of the hat. She has three and a half minutes in which to stop the black belt, Giselle Moreira. She's going to have to finish her. Urgency in the corner. Urgency for Diane Firmino in the pink. She's way behind on points. They know she, they got to pull off something good. Just trying to get the energy to do it. The energy. You're listening to her corner, listening to the crowd. You see her. See, that's just wait, wasting seconds. <laughs> I can't. Yeah. She's going to the showmanship, which is usually I need to get a rest and I need to try to get in the head of my opponent. Mm -hmm. And that, that's all I can really do right now. She's got to go for it. Now's the time. Three minutes to go in the fight. Lots of head movement, lots of feints. But that's not I'll tell you, the blue quarter is not even, she doesn't even look tired. She is. Yeah, she looks good. She looks good. Well, it's fun dominating in a fight, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah so you don't is. get tired when you're dominating. It's just, Kinda you get up more and more. more energy, right? You get more energy every round. It energizes you. It sure does. And now, and you know what? Here's the thing. Giselle Moreno is doing the right, Moreira is doing the right thing. Moreira is, it's not incumbent upon her to take the action anymore yeah. to Firmino. She's done her job. She's piled up a she big lead. Yeah. She can get on her bike right now, and that's what you should do. And if she's getting good coaching, that's what your coaches will tell you because it's all in the record. You know, okay, people might yell at you, but that's that's their tough luck. Mm -hmm. My job is to my fighter. You know, I need to get my fighter to the next <laughs> level. No, it's not. See, see, yeah. it's funny. Firmino's saying, why aren't you bringing it? I don't have to bring <laughs> it. I, I don't have to bring it. Yeah. I already brought it. Yeah, she Whose turn she is it to it. bring it? Yeah. It's not my turn to bring it. She's doing a great job right now on just defending everything that Firmino is is throwing down. She could literally get on her bike and just run now, and, it, and that would be legit. Yeah, and a minute 40 seconds left. And right now, Firmino's just not sensing any kind of urgency. There just doesn't seem to be any urgency. There's no pep in her step. Uh, and of course, that's easy for me to say from out here, but uh, she's got no time left. She's got it, and it's go time. It's, it's, you got everything left in your tank. Throw it. <laughs> Throw it at her. I think she's tired. <laughs> I think she's trying to get herself pumped up. Yeah. I don't even think that's gamesmanship anymore. I think she's saying to my, herself, Diane, come on. You know who you are. You know who you are. 
Get in there and go. One minute left. Here Not we go. Left. Final minute of the fight. She's trying to pump herself up. She's saying, let's go. But she's got to step into the pocket. Step in the pocket. She's going backwards. I honestly don't think she wants to clinch with her. I think that has failed, and so she just wants to stand. But her, her, her standing is is not going to match up to her either. Yeah, I think I, I think Moreto's in her head. She's just not closing the distance. She does not like the clinch. The perfect fight by Giselle Moreto. Perfectly executed. Absolutely. Showed every point of her game. Very well rounded. Got to be so frustrating for Firmino. She knows what she needs to do. Yeah. She wants to do it. She's tired. <laughs> That's tired right there. Yeah. That's tired. I mean, I'll give it to her. She's a tough chick. She's tough. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, Anyone who gets in the cage, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyone who gets in the cage gets props. She could take a little. And what a win for Giselle Moreira. Após três rounds de cinco minutos, todos os juízes pontuaram. 30-27, declarando a vencedora por decisão unânime, Gisele Moreira. Look at the emotion, Jessica. Look at the emotion. Beautiful. And good sportsmanship there. Good on Firmino. Good sportsmanship. And there you see, look at the trophies that David Hudson gives out. I know. Big David behind her.